He's going to actually have a whole creep wave here as well. So he's already ahead. He might become further ahead off the back of this. Mm. Actually, going to be time dilation coming out on the Weaver. Does not have a Shikuchi out of here. Great counterplay coming out, and that's going to be the first blood. Nicely played. Io heads out for a second, and no regen. They make it work. Very strewn. Four is up for the Void. He has those two points in Time Lock, lowering down the cooldown. They're going to move forward, see if they can make something happen on Zephyr, the kinetic field. Everybody's stuck in it, but does look like they might be able to bring down Raven, possibly. Right clicks, it's oh, not nice quite stampede. in range. They pull him back in, and well, Eden might end up falling down as well. There's so much regen coming in from this IO, and they lose two. A huge loss for RRQ. Yeah, that would have been very risky for Raven, except for a very nice hit. No! What? No! What? He just stands there, gets fade bolted, doesn't expect Rubik to be up so quick. Down bottom. All right, in the mid. And Void, uh, he's only a few hundred experience right now from being able to get his level six up, but. Oh, the rotation in. Impale a little bit off the mark. They drop the global and gonna be able to pull back in and kill off Rior. But could have been more if they would have hit that Impale. Yeah, but all the same. I mean, just get pertinent that he was able to drop it at, at such an early stage of the game where he's able to, to net a oh, kill right. on the bottom. Yeah, they're they're going to actually end up going in onto Tim's instead. The Impale hits. One more hit. Kel'Thuzard picking that one up. Almost has his Helm of the Dominator now. You take a look at his farm, and he is definitely top of the mark. Granted, Centaur is right there with him, but... I don't know. I feel like this is a, a good place to be in. Oh, this oh the pass. turnaround! Koala ah, he misses the impale, but still can make something of this, I do believe. Stampede away? No, can't quite get it. Really nice decision there with the carapace. Good timing. Yeah, sees it coming a mile away. And now we're actually going to see down bottom pressure coming in. Time dilation they on have the Weaver. Chrono. Maybe going to be able to make this work. They pull him back out of it. Oh. That will scare the run away. No, they still end up losing that Rubik. And now Tim's Ooh. maybe in trouble. No, he can't kill him. He's got bottle steps. He's fine. Can't quite get that. Right now is in towards mid where they have a Vendetta ready to go on to Cuckoo. They're going to pull him back into this one now and should be able to get the glimpse. He's uh, going well, to drop at static. At it delays it. Okay. And they're going to go for the relocate. All four V3. Uh, maybe a little bit of a problem, though. They drop the global. Yabby is maybe going to fall. Able to walk away from this when they don't have the damage. He ends up getting out with the bottle regeneration. Eden still low himself. Are they going to be able to find this kill onto the Weaver? Time lapses back the other direction, and they can't quite find the Impale, but nonetheless, they take down the OD. Yeah, I mean, obviously the Glimpse there, it, it the imprisonment will only delay the effect of the Glimpse, and so it will he will still end up in that tough spot. They oh. make the call to try to make the most of it, go for the relocate play in the middle, and it still just doesn't accomplish enough. That Global Silence, very effective at shutting down the, the counterplay. So they end up getting that there. They will spot out Rior. He uses the Shrine. This might signal that they could try and go for Sam H up in the top lane, possibly, or just kill off the Ogre, who is... Might take a couple too many hits. Stampede there as well. They end up going for the Astral to save his life, but everybody's out of there for the moment. TP's now coming in to fight this if they do go up high ground. Oh, but Ogre cast one too many spells. He's actually going to be going down here. Last tick will kill him off. Does not TP home, just goes down. I did not expect uh, to, it to be doing that much damage to him, but the Silencer has enough intelligence right now, and uh, of course his Arcane Curse at level three. Uh, it's just gonna be uh, him dropping, despite the heavy HP regen. Now they got Chrono. Could just drop this onto Sam H's head here. Also have, well, they don't even need it, actually. They have a Dark Troll Summoner. This should still be able to be a kill. They throw it out, drop it down, impale onto one. This is Cuckoo in the trees, has his ulti as well. They drop the global silence. Sam H in trouble, right clicks. The pipe is keeping him alive, rather the Hood of Defiance. But he is eventually going to fall, and now looking for more. Cuckoo left alone, separate from the rest of his team. They drop the ulti, but Tim's now the one to turn upon, and he is going to end up falling himself. They get the silence down onto Raven. He's going to drop. Cuckoo left completely alone now, and trying to see if he can take down Kel'Thuz Art. It's not going to happen. Four dead for TNC, and RRQ has just been all over him. They oh. are not even going to get the kill on a Yabby. I can't believe it. That level one fire blast. Oh, give him the int. He's just going to take the int as well. Why not? Oh, of course, of course. Just devours it. Now up to eight himself. But that was just br brilliant execution from RRQ. Knew exactly what they were capable of in this situation. Getting the two man chrono, uh, allowing them to kind of deal with the uh, a relocate kill. But. The, you know, they had, the, at that point in time, they had to deal with the stampede from Zephyr, and it just uh, got ugly. And they need to find another play like that without 
any response, either reloadable well, okay. or uh, a spell skill. Kel'Thuzard on top of him, dropped low, able to, well, he's caught in the imprisonment, tried to go for the TP, was, it's oh, they're caught now. Nah, it's not it's enough. Okay, it's fine. It, the the uh, damage from the Astral Imprisonment was just enough to make sure that he would be killed off and, and there wouldn't be a potential to jump out. And now it's going to be Disruptor that gets picked up instead. Okay, this is the way to pull it back in. Eden's going to drop. I was wondering if maybe he could have gotten out of there with the Time Walk. It looked like he went for the sort of double muscle flex for the Chrono. Advantage of their, their mobility. They have Shikuchi, Relocate, Stampede. They just, again, need to send in the, the clown, send in Ogre, and just allow him to tank things up without getting picked off too easily. You just call Ogre a clown? I can't believe it. It's, it's blasphemy, I tell you. Sam H in the meantime doesn't deal with the global silence. Exactly. They don't have any real items to deal with it at all. No, it's just the, the unfortunate fact of the matter is Silencer is, is actually quite effective against the Weaver here. And oh. uh, it's actually going to be a quick pick here on the Rubik. Global kind of wasted, Ugh. but up top? No, just TPs. So. I mean, yeah. they're going on to see. And this is sort of the, the big thing about RRQ. Again, a team that may be a little bit less disciplined without that international experience that you get from a TNC team uh, who's now gone to a couple of different lands. And I'm really kidding. Yeah, a little bit off the mark there. It would have been a nice one to pick up, but can't quite get there. And now oh, they have a glimpse. If they can get vision, maybe? They are going to bring down oh. Tim's almost. All right, now yeah, he does die to the last word at the end. But... Uh, OD gets out. Yeah, so they're actually just die. But beyond that, you definitely need the Ags on the Centaur. And then he probably goes for something like Lotus Orb himself. They're on top of all of them. Static Storm, oh, though. Nice. Oh, a little bit off the mark as they weren't able to catch him fully in the kinetic but, but field. But save Koala there, absolutely. Like, they could not actually stay on top of him, get any of the spells they needed to finish off the Nick's Assassin. Now they can fight on their terms. Chronosphere is there. I actually end up walking into it for OD as well. Can they bring down Raven and Astral to save Eden? He is going to fall. Now maybe in some more trouble. Yabby trying to get out of there. Four Staff still on cooldown for quite some time. The rest of the team is going to be wrapping around from the other side. They go up to the high ground. Nobody is there to help him out. RRQ not able to make it work and it maybe just shouldn't have been a, has now turned into a 4,000 net worth swing and well wanted to go get the Aegis is needs to be careful yeah, they'll get oh out interesting uh it's going to be blinking forward uh, trying to finish off a hero that really shouldn't be addressed in this what? manner and even a global just completely wasted now Carapace will wear off he doesn't have the blink yet he's just dead what is even happening right now they seal stampede turn it back against them RRQ are just completely crumbling and falling apart. Why are you fighting into Aegis here? Oh, I, no. I think they just realized that Roche was happening too late. This is not a lineup that you look at and say, oh, these guys can just kill off Roche. You locate forward. In, yeah. Uh, OD, well, he's not going to be able to catch up to him. He's just gonna, if he gets a blank, he needs a little bit more time for the stun. and that Oh, is he's out of mana. Cool. Yeah, another one for him. My God, that was a dumpster fire of a couple minutes. Fire ever says not one. It's it's really tough for them. I, they just completely underestimated what uh, TNC's lineup was capable of here, and we do see, of course, uh, them chasing out the silencer as well, him having nothing left in the tank to get away. He's relying entirely on the disruptor to help him out, but imprisoned, locked in. Rubik, what can you offer? It's gonna be imprisoned. They're the other all gonna way. die. Like they just keep on running into this. They're losing all of their heroes over and over and over again. Like. It, there, it, it started with a bad roast decision, roast decision, but it's ending with continually confusing decisions. Uh, Zephyr also in trouble. He is going to oh, drop. No. They lose Koala. They've lost like it's 10 cool. heroes in the space of two minutes. It's actually absolutely ridiculous here. Uh, they just, they didn't expect that Roshan would fall so quickly, and that's all right. Like, the, the Nyx moves in, sees it. It's like, oh, maybe. He's going to blink out. It's all right. Uh, they're just going to push out the towers now. Tier, top tier two should be pretty easy. Uh, if RRQ fight into it, they're in trouble. All right, Cuckoo. He ends up taking away one, stealing Astral. There's the Impale. They have Chronosphere if they wanted to use it still. Thinking about going in. Tim's is just perfectly placed over to the side, though. Global Silence comes out. Is it going to be enough? BKB has already come off, but Cuckoo still silenced. So trying to run away is going to be able to make at least the mm. first escape, but then... Hammer drops. That's one dead. Maybe going to be some more as well. Sam H continuing oh, the chase. Geez. This is not looking anywhere near pretty. And, oh, this is going to end up being a dead koala. Zephyr going to drop. It's this thing where it's like you, you gain a, a positional advantage. You gain a, a, a sort of 
small lead in an Aegis or something like that, but then RQ sort of deciding to go back into it. Yeah. I don't know. They're, they're draft already, like, they have trouble controlling certain heroes at certain stages of the game. I mean, they have Astral, they have Force Staff, they've got everything. And, and the other thing about that t fight up there in the top is it's like, you use your Static Storm, so now you don't have that for the next fight with the Chronosphere. And now Nyx is gone. Kel'Thuzar getting chased down. They've got the Chronosphere, which ends up connecting right on the edge of Sam H, but there's no follow-up. So it's used sort of semi-defensively, and now Kel'Thuzar is going to end up getting ran down just over and over again. It feels not like good. RQ is not... They, they completely fell apart. That was one of the quickest crumblings I have ever seen in a Dota 2 game. Yeah, I mean, it's really tough. Already we knew that they were out of the, the potential qualification for the playoffs. They already had a 1-5 to five, uh, score going into this game. They were playing for pride more than anything else, and I think 